Hello everyone, I hope you're all well. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about something that I kind of had no idea about when I came to university. I had no idea what to bring. To be honest, I thought, am I going on a camping trip? Do I need a sleeping bag? Is there a bed? Like what is there in uni halls and what is there in a house? You kind of just guess as you go along and a lot of the times you kind of turn up and you might not have the right thing. You borrow things or you buy things when you're there and I would have loved a video like this when I was coming to university. So without further hesitation, we are going to get into the things you need to bring to university, the staples, and also the odd things that you might not have thought to bring and the things that I wouldn't have brought if I had to do it again if that all makes sense. I will just say everything for this video is on my phone. I'm not just texting, I've written notes, so I stick to the point and don't waffle like I sometimes do. Coming to uni is a really exciting process. Really, really, really exciting. I'm excited and I'm at uni and I've been there for three years, but I'm still excited for all you people who are watching my video and are about to come to university. I started packing pretty much the minute I got that UCAS acceptance form. I was so excited, I was going around my room and thinking, oh, will I need this and will I need this? And I had tons of stuff for uni and I will just say this, you really don't need as much as you think. You think you need the world in your room and you just don't, you don't. I'm becoming a minimalist and it's through being a student and through knowing that I have a smaller space and I just don't need as many things. If you're like me and you're coming to uni and you're thinking, oh gosh, I'll need that and worst case scenario, I need that. And oh, if this happens to this, I'll need that. Most of the time that won't happen. And if it does, test goes up the road. So my biggest tip is don't overpack because home probably isn't too far away. Obviously, if you're kind of a flight away, then reassess. But then if you're a flight away, you probably need, I'm waffling. Okay, stop Becca, back to the point. So I'm gonna insect just here and say that in my halls in first year, in the kitchen, I had a toaster, a kettle. We had obviously a sink, a fridge, a cupboard each, a table, chairs. I think that's it for the kitchen. And in my bedroom, I had a single bed. I had a desk, chair and a bin and things like that. And I think we had an iron and an ironing board. Obviously there was a washer and dryer downstairs because we were in a shared block and all of that. But I think that's what I had. Obviously it will be different for every uni and every accommodation and all of that. But that kind of sets the scene. Obviously in a house, I have a double bed. I got given a bin, desk, chair, wardrobe, shelves. Mine came with a sink, which was just a bonus, but they usually don't come with a sink, don't expect a sink. So I think that kind of sets the scene. So now we can move back on to what you need to bring. So we're gonna get first on to important things. These are so important. And coming from me, who always forgets important things, bring these to uni. First of all, your passport. I don't have my passport here. Massive regret. Massive, massive, massive regret. You don't know how many times I have needed my passport here and always forget it. It's at home. And I spoke to my housemates literally last week and said, well, who has their passports here? And they were like, well, me, me, me. They all have their passports because we're adults. When you come to university, you need your passport with you. You might go on a fluke holiday. You might book a flight and just leave at the weekend. You can't if you don't have your passport. I can't, I'm stuck here. I can't go on a random flight at the weekend if I don't have my passport. So bring your passport, pack your passport. It's no longer your parents' responsibility. It's yours, you're an adult. I'm an adult and I've learned this lesson. I need my passport. It's an absolute faff if you do need it. Bring your passport. Obviously bring a purse or wallet or some kind of device which has your bank card, your driving license, like an NUS card, a train rail card, all of those things. Have it in a little purse or something. I also have learned from this. I went on nights out and I didn't have a purse and I just put my bank card in one pocket, my ID in another pocket and they'd always go missing. So get a purse, maybe get one with a clippy thing because that might be kind of useful <laughs> if you're like me and you lose things. But yeah, purse, wallet, driving license, all of that shebang, you will need Obviously, if you don't have a car, you don't need a driving license, but anyway, anyway, moving on. I'd also suggest at this point that we are not the generation of printing things out anymore. I'd really recommend on your emails or just a documents folder on your laptop to have a section of all the important emails and letters and confirmation letters, your accommodation letters, your student finance confirmation, you might need it. And I'd just recommend A, having a backup and B, having it all in one place. So if you get to uni and they're like, oh, where's this? You can be, it's here. Start day one as you mean to go on, organized. <laughs> so on to the second section, which is the kitchen. I kind of made a mistake, but kind of didn't. So I bought this t file really nice non-stick pan set with a removal handle, and I absolutely love it. And I bought it, and the minute I bought it, I thought I shouldn't have spent that much money on a pan coming to uni. So then I was gonna go out and buy another pan. But then my mum was saying, you just don't need this many pans, Becca, just be realistic. So I ended up sticking with the set I had. And A, I love it because the handle 
handle detaches and you can store it all small in your cupboard but b things do get damaged and broken and lost and it's okay you just learn to like let go and just be okay with it try not to bring just really nice stuff to uni you got your whole life to have nicer things so probably just go to ikea and just get a pan set not even a pan set just a frying pan and a saucepan i literally have two pans and it's done me absolutely fine i don't think there's ever been a time that i've needed more than two pans and also on that note is if you really do need another pan make friends with your flatmates and you can ask to borrow their pans so yeah don't bring the nicest stuff glasses will get smashed i think this year we've smashed four or five wine glasses honestly and we did all that before christmas so we did all that in a few months i don't know what it is about uni but you smash things. So try not to bring that nicest mug that your mum got you for Christmas or the nicest crystal wine glass. Just don't do that because they will get broken. Without sounding bad, a lot of the time students tend to drink out of the bottles of things. So you don't always need that wine glass, bear that in mind. Also a little tip here, some events actually kind of rent you a cup for the night. Big events, obviously it's COVID so they're not happening, but big events sometimes have cups and you can pay a pound or two pounds for the cup. So you return it and then you get your money back. But we learn in first year to maybe take those cups, which is fine because you pay for them obviously, but you take those cups and you just use those as your drinking cups because they're plastic and it's a really good solution to not breaking cups. <laughs> I'd also say don't buy a full set of everything. You don't need four plates, you don't need four bowls, you don't need four mugs and glasses and all of that stuff. You don't need four of anything. I know at home you probably do have four of everything. It's probably because you have four people at home. It's just yourself at uni, bear that in mind. I had one plate and one bowl and it has done me very well. Well, that was until the week that Zach came over and smashed both the bowl and the plate in one week and then we had nothing. But then we just went out and bought something, so it was fine. But yeah, a plate and a bowl. If you have another half, then they can just eat out of the bowl and you can eat out of the plate. You learn to just be very versatile and you adapt all the time. So plate and a bowl, all you need, plate, bowl, plastic glass. <laughs> As for cutlery, they'll also go missing. I started off first year with four knives, four forks, four spoons, and I think I have one fork, one knife, and maybe two spoons left. And that's just fine. It happens. They get thrown in the bin. They get thrown out of windows. They just get left in people's rooms. They go, basically, and that's fine. I would suggest here we go, here's a big, big tip, is don't buy all metal cutlery. Everyone has all metal cutlery. My housemate Ella turned up in first year saying, oh yeah, I've got my unique cutlery. Seven other people in the eight person flat had exactly the same cutlery. I, on the other hand, my mother in Tesco said to me, hey Becca, why don't you get a colorful cutlery? Cause no one will have that. And I was like, mm, mother Eva, that's a really good idea. So I had all like gray plastic cutlery. It still went missing, but that's not the point. It is a good idea to have things a bit separate so you can identify Identify your own cutlery and you don't have to kind of write your name in, on everything because that's just, that's so year six. So yeah, get colourful cutlery. My other really useful kitchen item was Tupperware. As a student, you probably will cook too much food because it's just yourself eating. I know they say students don't really eat much, but if you cook a meal, you'll probably make too much. So I'd definitely suggest bringing one or two Tupperware, Tupperwares. Tupperware, just bring some Tupperware to uni and it will make sure you don't waste food because you're on a budget and even if you're not on a budget, wasting food is bad, so don't do it. My last suggestion is probably to do a food shop when you're at uni because you only have a cupboard. If you buy all this stuff and stock up for life, you might not have room for it. So just buy a cupboard's worth. Usually a trip to Tesco's kind of like a student event. It's a, it's a bit of a thing in a house. Are you coming to Tesco's? Yeah, I'm coming to Tesco's. Are you coming to Tesco's? Yeah, let's all go to Tesco's together. So you don't need to stock up for the year. You'll go to the shops. The shops won't be far away and you'll only have a small cupboard, likely. You might have a whole load of cupboards, but likelihood is you'll have one small cupboard for your food and one small cupboard for your crockery and other bits. <laughs> okay, so that's pretty much all kitchen. Obviously there's other things that you might want to bring, but that's just from my point of view, the things that I would bring if I went back to then. Moving on to the bedroom bits, and I'm not gonna go into detail. Obviously there's a lot of personal things that everyone will want to bring differently, like clothes and I don't know, lots of stuff. You know kind of what you want in your bedroom, but these are the things that I would say are really important. The first thing, obviously you need to sleep. So the first thing I'd say bringing is bedding. And I'd bring a warm duvet and blankets if I was you, because student houses get really cold. And even if you're in halls and they are really warm, you can always just put the blanket on your chair or just not use it. It's just good to have it in case. I will just say, try and find out if you can, if you have a single or double bed, because if you bring four pillows and you only have a single bed, you'll be swamped with pillows. Don't bring so many pillows that you can't sleep in your own bed. 
bring two pillows first year if you need it. I think I only had one in first year. I don't sleep with loads of pillows and wasn't that fussed about having a pillowy bed. And this house, duh, 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 I have two, four, and then I have a big one because leisurely. I really would also say buy a mattress protector and this sounds so old of me to say, but you have no idea who slept in your bed before you. Try not to think about it too much. It will it will really gross you out, but lots of people probably would have slept in the bed. I was really lucky last year. I had a brand new mattress and it was very fancy, but most of the time you're not that lucky. So bring a mattress protector and also look for one that isn't crunchy. Honestly, my mother bought me one and I'm so glad she did, but it was crunchy and I literally let my mum lay down on it. It was like plasticky and every time you move it went it was really horrible so we had to return it because it was just so bad so try and buy one that's like fabric or i don't know not not plastic because you know i don't wear my bed and i don't, <laughs> I don't want to be laying on a plastic sheet so yeah buy a mattress protector try not to think too much about the mattress thing it's kind of gross <laughs> i would just say obviously bring all your electronics this thing is actually my holy grail at uni i actually could not have ever passed uni without this i'm dyslexic and i write slowly and this thing is my just my hero at uni and i actually had a 15 inch macbook and realized that in lectures it was just too inconvenient to whip out my bag and put it on my lap or put it on the tiny little desk you have so i've downsized to this 13 one and it's just amazing this is the best purchase I've made at uni so it doesn't have to be a Mac any smaller laptop really really helpful and it makes notes in class so easy because you can have the lecture slides that they've got up on the board here and then your notes here and it's just oh so good so good so this is obviously the charges and all of that phone charges you know that stuff but yeah super super important going on to the second most important thing that I think is key to my university life is this thing it's my planner and if you've watched any of my other videos you know i absolutely love this thing i actually am obsessed with this brand to be specific it's called fringe it's an american brand and i searched high and low to find this second one because i had one last year that i just picked up in a random shop and then i couldn't find it again but i found it and it's just so good it has little pockets you can put things in it has an overview i'll show you what a week looks like for me yeah so this is my week this week and i color code things and it just makes me super organized and i couldn't live without it i'd have probably missed so many lectures and seminars if I didn't have this so I'd really recommend especially if you're unorganized just buying a planner because it's so useful and I would also recommend the ring binder because I like laying it flat I know loads of people don't have ring binders but it's the thing that makes or break a diary for me so that's really useful I will just say as much as you love candles you can't have them in halls I'm really sorry you see me in my videos lighting incense and candles it's because I'm in a house in halls though I would say that you are really breaching a contract because it's a big building and you just don't want to set that on fire so try not to bring in candles the next thing I'd suggest which I had in first year and I don't really have this year but I'll explain why is a bathroom caddy like a thing or a wash bag or some kind of device to put your shampoo and stuff in to go to the bathroom with because usually if you live in a big flat you have kind of six to eight people sharing a shower you don't really want to just leave your stuff in there because imagine if six to eight people's worth of shampoo and conditioner bottles were in the bottom of a shower i don't think you could even stand in it so if you want to bring it back to your room i'd suggest like a caddy i had an ensuite my first year but i still used a caddy for just sticking on the wall because it was just really convenient just to group things together but I know my friends who have lived in shared flats have always taken their stuff in and out or just attached to the wall in there so their stuff is all kept nice and neat so a shower caddy bathroom caddy whatever you want to call it if you have to go to the bathroom to brush your teeth each night and you don't have a sink then I'd definitely suggest putting your toothbrush toothpaste and all of that stuff in there so the next thing is something that I've kind of recently got into and I didn't use in the first year but looking back I really should have I always thought who wears that or who does that but Honestly, my sleep has changed since introducing these into my sleep routine. An eye mask and earplugs are almost vital to student life. I cannot sleep with the light and for years I just thought, oh, I'll just get used to it. And then I never did get used to it. So I bought an eye mask and oh, my life has been changed, honestly. And usually uni curtains and blinds aren't I don't know, I'm making quite a sweeping statement here. Correct me if I'm wrong, but most of the time they're not the best. My housemate downstairs, 
It's just a see-through blind. Honestly, it's so bad. And there's a lamp post outside his window and it's, yeah, it's kind of a joke. But an eye mask is pretty key to just getting a good night's sleep. And if you want a nap in the day, which you probably will because you'll be a student, whip your eye mask on and just take a nap. Broad daylight, you don't even have to shut the blinds. That's the ultimate student life hack. Leading on from that is the earplugs. I don't know, I always had this weird thing with earplugs. I never wanted to use them. I thought it was only kind of 60, 70 year olds who can't sleep who wear them. But this year we have an issue with our fire alarm and it loves to go off and in first year you'll have an issue with parties or loud music or other things and you all want some earplugs just pick yourself up a pair they're really not expensive you can get 100 pack on amazon for like a four or five quid so just pick them up you can dish them out if your whole house can't sleep so earplugs and an eye mask are pretty essential to sleep and you will feel so much better if you sleep life hack sleep makes you feel good so get some sleep <laughs> another thing i would suggest bringing to university is a whiteboard mine currently says an inspirational quote but this thing in first year especially saved my butt so many times i actually wrote my whole timetable out on this board and i had like a little to-do list here i had a shopping list down here and as i've kind of matured and got better at managing my time I've turned it into an inspiration board and I love it. But in first and second year, one this size is just perfect. You can move it around. You can use it in your flat for like funny nights. You can do games on it and all sorts. It's just so good to have a whiteboard. And even in my next house, I will be bringing this along and just using it. So I think that is invaluable. The next thing I'd recommend you bring are hangers. These things have been great. I bought a massive pack. I'd recommend always buying more hangers than you think you need. Even if you think there might be some, and I think there was about five of my unique wardrobe the first year but I just bought my own I really like these velvety ones not because they're fancy or pink because they stop your clothes from slipping off and also they have this section where you can hang trousers and shirts and then this section which I think is for ties I don't think anyone wears a tie at uni but if you wear ties at uni Get yourself some of these hangers. So the next item I'd suggest bringing, which makes me sound like an absolute parent or teacher, is a first aid kit. And I tell you, I used to get mocked for this thing because of how organized I was to have a first aid kit. And it has saved me and my friends time and time again. People come to my room, not, can I have a plaster please? Can I have some paracetamol please? I'm like, dishing it out. That sounds really awful. I'm not dishing it out. I'm no pharmaceutical dealer, but this first aid kit has been really, really helpful. And I think I sat down with my mum and said to her, mum, can you help me decide? Because realistically, oh, maybe I shouldn't say this, but realistically, I took out all, quite a lot of the things that normally come with a standard first aid kit because I'm not likely to cut my leg open. Oh, that makes me sound really awful because you should be prepared for anything. But for me, I needed certain medications a lot more. So I'd recommend customizing it definitely I do have plasters and I think I have some steri strips and some antiseptic wipes but a lot of the things that come in a traditional kit you might not need just judge that there's a hospital up the road so you're not gonna die bring throat lozenges and paracetamol ibuprofen and cold and flu relief because I promise you you'll get freshest flu and it will suck and you'll be poorly for a few weeks so definitely stock up on those before you come to university. So I would just say this and come at me if you want, but I wouldn't bring blue tack to uni because it's so tempting to put things on the wall, but you will always regret it. You will always lose your deposit for putting blue tack on the wall. When you think it's like white tack or won't mark, it will mark. It will leave that little oily patch and you'll probably get charged for it. I don't know any uni or landlord that will just be fine with you ripping paint off the wall or leaving marks all over the walls. I'd probably recommend just not bringing blue tack. Just don't give yourself that temptation. If you want photos and maybe put them in a frame or you know tuck them into a mirror or a cupboard or something. But yeah, I really wouldn't suggest a blue tack for walls. Just, it looks pretty and nice, but I just wouldn't suggest it personally. And the last thing for the bedroom, which I guess it's kind of like a bedroom kitchen uni thing, but it is a water bottle and I absolutely swear by this thing. This is just a 32 ounce hydro flask. You don't need a fancy one. It just needs to have water in it and not leak. But you will have this in lectures, you'll bring this to the library, you'll have this in your room, you'll have this in kitchen, you'll have this when you feel hungover. Just really good. Just get yourself a good old water bottle, quite a big one, just really useful. Now I'm gonna go on to the other useful things. These are things that might not be in the traditional uni packing list. I think there must be one of there must be one of those out there but it probably won't be in the uni traditional list but I think it's pretty key. So the first thing I'd say is pretty key if you don't have a car and during lockdown, everyone's wanted this. So I'd really recommend bringing a bike if you have one. Obviously in first year, you have to store it somewhere and often there's like a bike shed or something, but bring a really good lock because I think bike theft can be a thing in any city, but I don't know anyone who's had their bike stolen, but bring a lock because 
just bring a lock. <laughs> oh my god. So if you, <laughs> I don't know what gets into me sometimes. Oh my gosh. I'd really recommend bringing a bike if you have one. Cycling to the supermarket or Mumbles. If you're in Swansea, a bike is so useful because you can cycle to the beach, you can cycle to uni. Even if you do have a car, it will save on fuel. And if you don't have a car, it will be your mode of transport. So I'd really recommend bringing a bike to uni and a strong lock. Next thing I'd suggest bringing is some cards, a card game, a board game. It will break the ice in your first week. You'll absolutely fall in love with Ring of Fire. We've played it almost too many times in the last three years. But card games are just such a good way to make friends and to have some fun in a night when you kind of don't know what else to do, card games. And as you get a bit more through uni, like me, you might really enjoy board games because apparently that's what people my age like. So we play board games all the time in my house. So if you've got a stack at home and you're thinking, hmm, no one will like those, I don't know, put them in the car, bring them to uni and just see. You don't have to say anything unless, you know, someone says, oh, do you have any board games? And you can say, yes, here's my huge stack of board games. Bring cards at minimum, but if you have any board games, maybe bring them because they're fun on rainy days. So the next thing I suggest bringing is a lighter. And I don't smoke. The hob isn't one of those hobs that you'd have to kind of gas light and then light but these just come in useful we have fires all the time at the beach and if you can just whip out one of those you are going to be a hero of the night so actually this one is leaning out i know you can't have candles and incense and stuff in first year for me i can now so i have these but life is just handy they're just useful so pick one up and be a useful person <laughs> the next thing i'm going to talk about is kind of washing and washing machines and laundry so obviously the first thing you need is washing tablets mm, these smell so nice my mum had these and as one of the things that made me less homesick i actually made a video about this so if you want to watch it i will link it here or here bring some washing tablets and actually i do recommend just bringing the ones your parents use anyway because your skin can kind of react to you changing washing tablets so i'm just going to stick on these i don't even know anything about these but i know they smell good and they make my clothes clean so these are the ones i use and i kind of i'm quite lucky because i have this big tub and every time i go home i kind of bring this tub and mum mum tops it up so yeah washing tablets Ideally, the ones your parents have. Obviously, if you don't want those, then buy your own ones. You're an independent person. But bringing your washing tablets, you don't want to get there and forget them. Going on from that, I'd also recommend bringing a laundry bin or some sort of vessel to hold your clothes when you go to the washer and dryer because in halls, they'll probably be in a separate building. So you don't want to be lugging this really cute but kind of annoying basket around. You want kind of a bag or I just have like a traditional stand-up. Well, you can probably see it. It's just there. Just a... You know what a washing basket is. Anyway, I'd probably recommend getting one of those. I actually did use another one in first year for a bit and it had a drawstring and it was just super handy and it just folded up really small and I'd recommend something like that in your first year. Also, before I forget, I know this is one of the things you'll think you will never use, but vanish. I will just say, this is nearly out. I don't even think you can see it. This is nearly out. And I have been the hero of the flat, just rocking up when someone spills like spaghetti bolognese or, or some kind of rum on themselves. And I can just be like, hold on, hold on, let me get it. And this has just been so great. You spray it on, it's like five minutes and then you wash it, super handy. It's one of the things that when you're at home, you kind of take it to your parents and you say, mum, I've got a stain, please help me. And she'll get it out. When you're at uni, your mum isn't there. So you need to think about these things. I would recommend just maybe picking up one of these. Not all of you and your friends need one, but maybe in your first shop together, just one of you pick it up because it will come in useful. And if, if, don't do this, but if you spill anything on the furniture, shh, won't happen, but if it does, this will get you your deposit back. So anyway, moving on. The next thing on my list is a reusable shopping bag. This thing has just saved me so many times. It's just a massive bag. And I use it for absolutely everything. I go to the shops with it. If I'm going to someone's house, which I'm not in COVID, but if I am out of that, I can just shove any bedding or it's just really useful. You can put wetsuits in it if you go surfing. Just, it's so useful just to have at least one big bag. Don't be buying plastic. Please don't be buying plastic bags from Tesco's or Sainsbury's or wherever you shop. We just don't need that. It's 2021. Let's all save the planet. So big bag, really helpful. That's all I have to say about a bag, really. So the next thing I'm going to suggest is about textbooks. And I didn't put it in the bedroom because they're not really a bedroom item. But this is really controversial and lots of people say different things. And I bought all the textbooks before I came to university and it was about three or four, 400 pounds are really expensive and I think I ended up using them about once or twice and it's a real tricky one because I want to say don't buy them and use e-versions and use the library but I know sometimes the library will only have one or two versions and they'll be signed out and you can't use them and I just say play it by ear I definitely think 
not to buy them before uni and to turn up at uni and see what people have bought, speak to your lecturers and see the ones that are really key because like me, I've got a whole stack of textbooks that I haven't really used. Don't get me wrong, I read so much and I will go to the library and just study and I'm doing well in my assignments. It's not the fact I don't want to read them. It's just the fact that I don't think I personally need my own copy of them. Use your own judgment. Don't don't be mad if you do need a textbook and I told you not to, but just use your judgment a little bit on textbooks. And the next thing, which is kind of a category, but I'd say the next thing is the things I bought, which I didn't bring initially, but I went back and got because of the societies and sports clubs I joined. So I joined snow riders. So obviously I needed my snowboard. So I went home and got that one. I joined skate. So I need my skateboards. And then later on, I joined sailing and I needed my point C8 and a few other things from home. So it will depend on what you join, but I would say try and preempt what you will join so you can just do it all in one go. It's just nice to have your own stuff. If you have that stuff, don't go out and buy it. You don't need to do that. Your students, like if you've got it already, it's great. If not, no worries. But I really love the fact that I use my surfboard and stuff and I would have liked to bring that in first year. I will just say with surfing stuff, Maybe just a wetsuit if you know you're gonna get into surfing, but other things, they get a bit tricky. Where there's a will, there's a way. You can pretty much get anything in your room. I used to freestyle kayak and I used to do it a lot and I used to train and I actually, in my old uni, yeah, here's a little secret, I went to another uni first. In my old uni, I lived on the 15th floor and I took my kayak in the lift, 15 floors up. <laughs> I took it in the lift and people would be looking at me like, what, what? <laughs> what and i think back to those days of like me as a little 18 year old with this kayak in the lift and good memories good memories but anyway i think that's all you will be fine tesco's is a great thing you will you'll be fine and hopefully home isn't too far and you can always buy things or borrow things or make friends with people and you'll kind of just share things but i would suggest turning up with a few things don't just assume people have things you can borrow and especially one thing i would just say is if you do borrow anything just ask just ask, just ask and look after it because in the end, anyone's usually happy with you borrowing things as long as you'll just say, oh, hi, can I borrow that? And if you do borrow something kitchen wise, just please wash it up because that is such a pet peeve of loads of students for someone to borrow your things and then just leave it all gross. So anyway, <laughs> I think that's the end of the video. I really hope you enjoy it. Don't stress about it. It's a really exciting time. I say this in all my videos. Uni is so exciting and have fun packing. Maybe bring your parents into it and have a bit of a group packing session. I hope you all have a lovely week and see you soon.